another busy afternoon on the homestead today. Uh, we uh, this morning we chipped all those uh, all that brush we showed you in that previous video and made uh, um, wood chips from it. So uh, now that that project's done, we are working on our woodshed, and uh, what we're trying to do is level the frame. So let's take a look at that. So as you can see, we have the two workers who are lazy and laying down and you know i think one is sleeping and the other one's just kind of licking his his paws and the supervisor here is having to actually work because of all of us lazy we got, work uh, we're using these uh six by 18 by four blocks to level uh, once it's level we'll then start adding the wood sheeting to it or the wood uh um kind of exoskeleton if you will uh, so that we can then start um, sheeting it and uh, put a roof on it so yep we're all about leveling so this block is going to be completely covered yeah yeah i mean how with this being this way how are we going to do this wood block going to lay it down because you're going to be off because of this i don't think that matters does it i'm just telling you yeah i don't know do you want me to fill it with gravel or do you want me to fill it with just the fill it in with the dirt yeah okay. this should be fine i mean the alternative is we cut a found you know we cut the foundation i don't want to do that so just leave it as it is level it and be done with it. So we are making the header on our woodshed. We're using these 4x4, 5x5 rough cuts that we got from a neighbor. Mangle iron, kind of attach it to the top. And that's where we're at. So. There's our neighborhood garter snake just hanging out, checking us out. All right, get to stability. Why you got the gaps in between them? Airflow. For what? Well, because this is going to be our firewood. We want to make sure we've got airflow going through here so that the wood dries. Plus, I don't want to have to cut beams. So these are beams that were already cut. All right, so we've got our four x four beam up. That's really for structural and to give us a little bit of a razor or a riser on our header there. Uh, then on the back side, I cut some scrap two x four that I had and uh, made some bracing so that when I go to lift these logs, uh, the logs can rest against that. And then I will uh, attach the those two x fours to the uh, logs here um i don't know if i'm going to use two both of these logs or how much of both of them uh but we'll see uh, because ultimately the goal is simply to have a nice header up there that we can then lay our rafters on so all right let's get to it and our little friend is just hanging out there on the wood pile watching us just hanging out
So I'm going to lift this end. Uh -huh. You're going to lift that end. And we're going to put it up on top. <laughs> Don't worry. Nothing can happen bad. Shut the hell up. All right, lift her up. Put her up there. I'm working on it. Honey. Nice. Okay. Better? Yeah. That's up there. Okay, can I let go now? You can let go. Oh God, can I get down? You can get down for now. Yeah, you're damn sure I am. <laughs> oh my God. The Walt is not sponsoring this. But what I will say is this, I love the Walt. My whole set is the Walt. You'll see me using it in every project that we have. Hands down, the best set I've ever owned. Go to Walt, but they're not sponsoring this. I wish they would. The Walt, if you're seeing this. Yeah, we're gonna put this one on top of that one. No, it should be about the same height. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's put it up there and we'll see what it looks like. Alright, I'm going to cut it there and cut it there. I'm going to cut this one first. I lift it up. We're there. Good job. Oh, you got to move down that way. Is that good? That should be good, huh? Okay. All right, so it is Thursday afternoon, about six o'clock, and we are exhausted, right? Exhausted, so yeah. soaking wet. Soaking wet, just absolutely miserable right now. Um, we spent the whole day building rafters for our woodshed, and it has been nothing but a grind. It whooped our butts. <laughs> it's whooped our butts. <laughs> So let's go take a look and see what we did. So it was supposed to be kind of cloudy today and, and we knew it was going to be hot, but it was supposed to be cloudy. And we were hoping for that to hide the sun because that sun is a beat down. Man, is it brutal. Anyway, so here's what we've gotten done today. So going back to our woodshed, this is the, uh, we put these rafters in. A little overhang in the back. Now, we know that they're not straight. By any stretch of the imagination, they've got some curls in them and so forth. But uh, we're going to be adding some some uh, small one by 2s all the way across this to kind of tie it all together. And then we'll be adding our uh, sheet metal on top of that. Uh, it's not going to be flat. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, it's going to work. And, and, and honestly, that's, that matters more to us than the way it looks. So we do have a little bit of a, of a uh, angle there. So hopefully the water will run off of it once we get it, get the roof on there. Um, we are using metal tin. And uh, it was some stuff that we picked up from some folks around, uh, around us. And uh, we are pretty excited about getting that, getting this project done. So I need to support these rafters with something. Um, and uh, originally I thought about maybe laying the uh, extra metal or extra steel framing that I had, but I really have no way to connect it. So instead, this is what I've done. I have no idea if this is gonna work or not, but Basically what I did is I took some of the split rail cedar that I have. Uh, it is certainly not the strongest wood, um, but it is what I had available. And I put some bracing underneath the rafters and above the structural supports of the frame. My thought is that the cedar will give the rafters the necessary support in the event we have a heavy uh, snow and I can't get out here to clean the roof off. 
and so i mean that's really a big thing too i mean it, this this roof is by no means perfect as i've said multiple times and i know you, know, you folks out there are going to look at this and go oh my gosh but realistically you know, all i need to do is keep the snow and the rain off of my wood and and uh, i do plan to clean this roof uh when it snows uh with the size of this um i can simply just stand back there and uh, use my snow shovel and just uh or my roof snow shovel and just pull the snow down um, i'm not too concerned with that so uh next up is uh, i'm going to finish bracing these with these uh, screws and then uh, we're going to start putting the uh, bracing on that'll go across it uh, so that we can then start screwing in the uh, screwing in the roof so i'm sure some of you are probably wondering why am i going through all of this trouble with this big white steel frame why didn't i just put you know build a woodshed put posts in the ground and just use all wood and honestly that's a that's a pretty legitimate question the reason i did this is i have this for one um and for two I want it to last. I mean, I want the building, the structure to last. And I know that with the steel, it'll last. So one thing I do want to, I want to send a quick shout out to my wife's cousin, Joe, Joe and Kathy. Uh, Joe gave us these boards uh, before we came out here and I didn't really know what we were going to use them for, but uh, they are perfect. And I had just enough to do this, this roof with. So Joe, Kathy, Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, these things are a blessing and saved us a ton of time of having to cut these out. What you doing up there, babe? What's up, babe? What are you doing? I'm putting these braces in. So I can put the, uh, the tin on. But I've run out of nails. So what are you going to do now? I'm going to beg you for help. <laughs> You mean, let's see if I can find what you're looking for. Maybe those? Yes, those. You want me to just throw them up there to you? I uh, know. <laughs> no, I think you need to bring the ladder over and hand them to me. Say hi. Hi. Got it. Well, we made a lot of progress today on our woodshed. Uh, I'd say a lot of progress. It is coming together. We've got the roof on and we started on the walls of well, the back wall. Uh, basically uh, got some slab wood from our neighbor. Uh, and uh, we added two by fours up on the top, attached those to the rafters. Use the slab wood to come down on these supports here. Uh, after that, we added some six by sixes to the base. Um, and then we attached those slabs to the six by sixes. We uh, th threw some gravel there and leveled them out. Uh, so they were relatively level. Uh, and then we used some two by fours to attach these corners. So all in all, we are very happy with the progress that we've made and we are very happy with the uh with the look and feel of our Have I mentioned how incredibly grateful we are for our neighbors if I haven't shame on me because we have the most incredible neighbors here not only the neighbors who stop to say hi and talk to us but the neighbors who help us get supplies information 
introduce us to folks in town here. Um, the reason I bring this up is this wood over here, all the slab. Yeah, that came from a neighbor. Could not have built this this woodshed without without their help. And we are just so grateful for everybody we've met here in Maine. We grew up in Chicago and lived in the outskirts for you know 20 plus years after that. And uh, we had good neighbors, no doubt. Had some good neighbors. But uh, the folks here in Maine, I'll tell you what, I mean, it has just made our transition from Wakanda, Chicago area to Maine so much easier, so much less stressful. <clears throat> I mean, it goes without saying that uh, we could not have, you know, made as much progress as we have without their help uh, and uh, friendship. So um, to all of our neighbors out there who are watching, thank you so much for everything. The conversation, the talk, the information, the supplies, I mean, everything. Thank you so much. We, 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 words cannot describe how grateful we are. Um, and we are always here to help you. So keep you posted. All right. So let's get back onto the build. Today is a rainy day. Uh, skies are gray, but we are going to keep working on the back wall here of the firewood shed. And then next up is to get the uh, two by four header mounted up on the top here and then get the uh, the small bracing or the braces in and uh, start building this wall. What you doing? Trying to make it not so much of a slope so this gravel doesn't come down. So keep 
keeps it tight around the beam. You did that all the way around? All the way around. And that way it also tries to keep the weeds up. No grass around it. Put it on the inside too. Good. So it has been a long few days, but uh, Jen is finishing up the gravel around the 6x6 six six base beams. And we're about ready to call this one completed, at least for now. There are a few other things we're going to want to do to this, but uh, for now, um, we are this close to calling this done. So, all right, well, we are officially done with this project. So here is the shed in all of its glory. The only thing left we have to do is... Uh, after we fill these up, we're going to build up a wall on this side and then a wall kind of like right there over here and uh, right where Jen and the dogs are is we'll walk into it. So, um, but we are officially done and we could not be happier with the outcome and the look. So we've got protection from above. We've got all our pallets down for the wood and there's the wood. And uh, we're gonna have a whole video uh, on us doing the chopping because we're gonna try and get almost nine cords of wood done in two days. So given that neither Jen or I have ever uh, chopped the wood. Well, I never built a wood shed either. And there you go. Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, no, it was a little longer, but this was a big project. It took quite a few days. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. So thanks for watching. God bless. And we'll see you on the next video.